Hi, in this video I'll demonstrate how to change the battery in a calculator. Now this calculator has a little solar panel, so yes it's working now, but when I cover the solar panel you can see the digit there fading away. Now usually at the back of the calculator it gives you the model of the battery. In this case it's LR44 and it's taking two of them. On this Casio calculator it is also an LR44 but it's only one of them. Starting with this calculator I need to open these two screws at the back. This back flips off and there are the two batteries. Now sometimes it's difficult to get the batteries out. You can turn the calculator around and tap on it like this. And you might be lucky, but in this case, the batteries are not coming out. So I can just insert my screwdriver and then just flip it out like that. You can also take a toothpick to push it out. So in this case, I'm just taking my screwdriver and there it flipped out. Now I'm very aware of the orientation. Right, here are my replacement batteries. I'm using the same LR44. So depending on the model of calculator, you will have to then go and make sure you get the correct battery. Now you might notice that the space is cut off on the side there. Now, the reason why that's important is because when I insert the battery, notice that I slide it in and it's at a bit of an angle. And that's important because then it can just seat easily. The same goes for this side. If I try and push it in, it won't go in. I have to wedge it and then depress it. So there are the two replacement batteries and I can return the cover. Right, so even if I cover the solar panel, you can see that the calculator is still working. On this unit, it's a single screw. So I just need to remove the screw. And in this case, this cover is not coming off. So I follow the same procedure. I first try and tap it. It's not coming out. So where this hole is, I just insert my same screwdriver and then I just push it off. So there's the battery. I first see if I can just tap it out. Unfortunately not. I'm just going to take a little flat screwdriver and just wedge it. Right, once you have your brand new replacement battery, I just wedge it inside there and now I can return the cover. And thanks for watching and cheers.